hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting video today we're going to be learning how to make custom hatch patterns in revit let me start by saying that there are so many ways to create custom hatch patterns in revit however today i'm going to be showing you two ways that i know so what are hatch patterns i don't know you tell me hatch patterns are files that are referenced in in revit to find them you go to manage and additional settings go to fill patterns we do not want to save the project that's fine and as you can see these are the few patterns that you can see these patterns are typically cross-referencing building materials in the real world like metal steel as you can see plastic insulation mensury so on and so forth and these building materials are called a dot path file there are two terminologies to which you have to pay attention to when making custom hatch patterns a model pattern and a drafting pattern a model pattern refers to the actual scale of the material that it occurs naturally in while the drafting pattern refers to the scale on paper so you will mostly find that as the scale of the drawing changes the model pattern will remain the same size in the real world but change on paper while the drafting pattern won't and let me show you what i mean by that show me for example, look at these two floors I have drawn here in Revit. One of them is a model pattern and one of them is a drafting pattern. And watch what happens once I change the scale. Let's change it to something like this. And as you can see, the drafting pattern changed and the model pattern didn't change. That's interesting. <laughs> there are two ways that I know how to create custom hatch pattern. The first method is by using PyRevit, which was created by Esan Iran Nejad. This is an Iron Python script library for Autodesk Revit. But the one that we're going to be talking about today is by just importing the path files into Revit. Now, let me show you how to do it. So under the annotate tab, I'm going to create a region. Let me just create a field region here. Let's take a rectangle and create one. Okay, let's edit the type and duplicate this. I have a wood pattern that I've downloaded from the internet. I'm just going to call this wood one. Press OK and click on here. Click on drafting and let's create a new field pattern. Custom, click on browse and find the path file that's on my desktop. I'm going to pick, I think nine, nine should be fine. Press on open. You would notice that nothing has changed so far, but let's work with the scale. Let's say 0 0.5, press enter. Okay, it's too large. Let's go 0 0.1. Now you can see that on the preview uh, dialog, you can kind of see what it's hinted at. Now 0 0.1 is too big. Let's make it 0 0.01. And as you can see, we're getting a sense of how the wood pattern looks like. Let's make it 0 0.02 or let's say 0 0.007. Once I'm happy with the scale of my wood, I'm just gonna press an okay. And now you can see that it has saved it for me. I'm going to press OK and press OK. And there you have it. This is how to create a custom hatch pattern in Revit. You can always change the scale of how this looks like. Let's see. Let's make it bigger. That's smaller. Let's make it like this. But this is one of the many ways to create a custom hatch pattern in Revit. I hope this helps and I hope this improves your workflow moving forward in the future. Please make sure to like and subscribe if videos like this help you in your architectural BIM construction or interior design journey. My name is Ibkai Dafum. See you on the next one. Cheers.